You've been a homosexual all your life, you said earlier, right? Um, at the age of you know nine, the at the age of nine, I um, I I knew that I like that I like the same sex. Yes. How did you become that way? I didn't become that way. I just I knew that that was my innate nature to be to 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 like men. And so, how did your nature go from a natural nature of being a man or male to an unnatural nature of becoming a woman? How did that happen? So you said the unnatural nature of me becoming a woman. Yeah, how, you know, you, if you were born a natural male, right? You're born a natural male. Right, you were right. I'm an, I am. A, I am a male currently sitting here in front of you. But how did you go from being a natural male to an unnatural woman? Who's an unnatural woman? But isn't homosexuality is like being a, a female feelings? No. What is it? No. What is it exactly? Being being gay is or being being gay, being a homosexual, whatever term like um, that that a person wants to right. use to identify themselves. It's an innate state of being. It means that this this is who that person is. It, it, if I'm not a woman, I, I'm a man sitting here in front of you having a conversation. I have a penis, just like you have. Well, a you penis. do have the male parts, but not in cutting that off too. Did you hear about that? We'll get to that. But do you feel in, inwardly? Do you feel like a male, or you feel like a female? I am a male sitting here in front of you. No, but what do you what do you feel I like? I feel like a male and inside. I am, I am a male sitting here in front I, of you. I realize you. that, but inside, do you feel like a man or you feel like a woman? I am a male sitting here in front of you, so that answers your question, right? I know. I don't feel like anything because I am a male. You don't feel like neither male nor woman. I am a male sitting here in front of you. I realize that, but but what made you think you're a homosexual then? If there's not a what feeling on this side, why do you think you're homosexuality a homosexual? is not a feeling? It's a state of being. It's a, it's who the person innately is. Uh -huh. It has nothing to do with. It has nothing to do with creating a feeling that that you're talking about. It's an innate. It's it's the innate nature of who that person is. I innately am who I am. Me being gay or or homosexual has nothing to do for me with being a man. It has everything to do with my preference and who I choose to sleep with. What does the word in innately mean? What does that mean? I'm black and slow. I don't know what that means. The word innate. Uh -huh. The word innate means that it is that you I'm not changing or I'm not becoming something else. I am who I am. Uh, just before we started the show you said that you had to do your uh is he your husband or your wife? Is that your husband? He's going to be your husband or your wife? I'm going to end this interview. Why? Because yeah. I because we're ending this right now. Why do you want to end? We're ending it. Well, Take right, this come off. Back. Take this off. When you want to have a real conversation, I'm call me. I'm no, you're bullshitting me, and back. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Come take this off of me, or I'm gonna take it with me. But why are you? Why are you running? Come take this off of me, or I'm gonna take it with me. Please take it off of me. Really? Because you're, you're disrespecting me. But no, I'm so, you really. Please take it off. Am I asking a really serious question? No, I'm saying just let me take it. They're recording. They're trying to get a reaction. What was that? It's okay. No, be quiet. No, that's not what okay, we're doing. Okay, so oh. just take it off. Yeah, but is tell it, me why you're running. Down? I'm not running, sir. But when you want to have a real conversation, we'll get you. you have my information. You but can you call said me. that you were gonna. When you want to have a real conversation. When you said when you want to have a real conversation. You said you go marry this guy. When you want to have, he's a guy. You're calling him a female. You're being disrespectful. I, I asked if you gonna call him have husband or wife. Come back. Do you want to be interviewed? Amazing. Well, they gone. That's oh, amazing. They gone. They walked away. So the deal is that was uh, Pastor Kurt D. Thomas, and Kurt D. Thomas is a senior pastor of the Renew Church of Los Angeles, and he is a. Uh, Admit it, homosexual pastor, and what he does is he works with men. They uh, host a monthly men's group, they say, 
so I wanted to know about all that, but during the, just before we started the show, he introduced this other male, a black male, that he said that they were going to get married soon. And I know that these people are doing that and they're calling it marriage. So I want to just kind of lay out that first. I had no idea that he was going to run because if they are proud of being what they are and they say that it's normal, you would think that they would want to talk about it. But apparently not. And so I don't know what's going to happen, but he's gone. There's no, there's no use in praying for him anymore. He's gone. I wanted to ask him about the great white hope, Donald Trump. I wanted to ask how does this work? If we are in a fallen state, we should overcome. I had a lot of questions. But anyway, thank you for tuning in.